Okay, so part of scoping and planning, obviously, cost estimation is um, a critical aspect of actually providing the meat around what you're going to deliver. Um, cost estimation, um, software projects I've been involved in recently. Um, trying to estimate a, pros a cost estimate on a software project which has not yet been designed or re-engineered in the business from a process perspective can be very, very challenging as we're finding out. Um, building your processes, knowing what your 2B state is, um, putting an estimate around a cost around programming that from a system perspective is very, very hard. Um, we're actually going through a very mechanical process. Um, it does have this degrees of estimation though. Um, we're currently designing 2B processes in the organisation for this particular project. Um, out of that we'll have some technical documentation or we'll have some requirements and some de technical documentation. To actually code and develop code from these requirements we can't actually do now. Um, and this is a big challenge to the business because they obviously want to know the whole of programme cost. Um, but for this phase of the project we can't actually deliver that. So what we're doing is basing it on um, a lot of subject matter expertise, um, building the costs from a work breakdown structure work package um, basis upwards, given a list of around two to three hundred processes that have been re-engineered in the business. So very challenging. Um, like I say, as long as you set the parameters around an understanding around um, what the governance is around these estimates, um, bringing your board and your steering committee on board with that um, and saying it's a progressive um, estimation um, really does educate them. It also gives you that allowance of time where you can actually go back to them later on and say, look, now we're in a position to give you an estimate that's 5 to 10% accurate. So again, software engineering projects, not the easiest to um, cost. Um, dealing with unknowns in the business in terms of number and size and complexity of processes um, it can be a challenge.